Hello everyone, today in this video I will be discussing 4 important questions from the last two topics which is MongoDB and Cassandra. So make sure you listen this video till the end. And before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me to make more videos like this. And let's get started. In MongoDB we have two questions and next is Cassandra DB in which we have two questions. Okay. So MongoDB first what you have to remember when this question is asked is the mango. Okay, mango box imported from where? USA. Okay. So it's a very standard box and it is very flexible as well and there are a lot of different varieties of mangoes present in that just put that this picture in your mind you can easily get how many marks eight marks okay so what is mongodb that you can write in your own words it is an open source dbms it creates and manages obviously database because it's mongodb right db means what databases and if database is there you will query and access information pretty common sense and the functions include the viewing querying this i need not tell also you can write it all in your own words right so that's all what is there about the mongodb and uh, what are the features before features there are some characteristics so mongodb is non-relational no sql distributed this also all the same things the good things about what is uh, data databases and all, all those good things are written here okay so you can write in your own words next i'll be talking mainly about the features because features is something uh, specific to mongodb okay so how do we remember the features what i told in the starting part mongodb means what it is a mango box which is imported from usa there are a lot of different varieties of mangoes present and it's a very flexible box okay so you can make it into a orange box also okay like the shape of the box you can make it as orange but inside mango only will be there okay so uh, how does it relate mongodb is a data store for physical container of collections it is what a physical container this is only the physical container and it stores a number of mongo documents a large variety of mangoes are there document model is well defined well defined means what i told right it's imported from where usa means standard right well defined mongodb uh, data store holds different documents i told right different mangoes are there different color mangoes and all so it is different documents storing of data is flexible flexible right i told you the box is flexible can change the shape of the box and after this you can write it in your own words at least five you have to uh, mention and the rest of the thing you can quickly go through it storing of document on disk obviously you are storing it on disk only why even they are mentioning this one querying indexing this is the operations of it deep query no complex join distributed database index atomic operations fast in place updates no configurable cache and conversion mapping <coughs> remember the five and these things you can write in your own words moving on to the second question of mongodb is very important what are the mongodb query and command all you have to remember is db mongodb right that db is the last keyword you have to remember mongo if you say mongo it will start mongodb db.help runs help db.stats shows statistics db.drop database it drops a database insert insert update update and just db it outputs the name of the existing and dbs gets a list of all databases use database name it creates a database pretty simple moving on to the second topic which is the cassandra here we have two important questions let's quickly uh, discuss this one and uh, wind up this video so what is cassandra cassandra is nothing but a column family database this much thing you have to remember by your own column uh, family database column family means what this is one column this is another column this is another column so this uh, column if they come together that is called as co uh, column family and if they store data it is called as column family database this kind of picture you have to remember in your mind for cassandra okay it stores what it stores the handles massive data all the good things about the databases everything is mentioned here it is a set of programs create manage database provide functions for querying accessing all same things okay characteristics also same what is mongodb has all those characteristics like distributed no sql scalable and so on features of uh, cassandra here what you have to remember is cassandra is an examination name and a person was writing an exam okay listen to this story cassandra is what an exam like je neat and all like cassandra is also an entrance exam so a person was writing that exam and he was not showing to anyone like he is uh, writing uh, on his own and when he went and submitted the paper what happened is that in the machine he uh, by mistake he clicked replication okay so his answer sheet got replicated and many answer sheet started coming out of the uh, machine and uh, that's what um, the story you need to keep in mind okay start from cassandra it's an exam uh, person is writing and um, he did not show to anyone then he put that uh, answer script in a machine from which many different replications of that same answer script came out of the machine Okay, so how do you relate it to this one? Maximizes the number of writes. Writes are uh, not very costly. Maximizes the number of writes. He was writing his own answer script, right? Maximizes data uh, duplication. The, after he put in the machine, it became duplicate and many uh, answer script came out, right? And does not support join, group, or uh, clause and aggregation. He was writing answers on his own. He does not have any group, okay? 
and it consists of ordered keys and semi structured data and data storage system data storage system is that machine in that all the people put the answer script but he put the answer script as well as click uh, replicate uh, many times okay fast easily scalable and right operations spread across the cluster i told you right the operations it spread across the cluster many different answer scripts came out of that machine and it's a distributed database designed for handling a high volume of structured data across multiple cloud servers since many uh, answer script came that many answer script means what huge data and has peer to peer distribution in the system across its nodes so obviously when those answer script came what the backbenchers did is they took each and they submitted after writing their own name okay that's all what was there in the module 3 of um, big data analytics a last question is also there but i am not going to discuss that these are the commands you can just go through it quickly easily you will get to know what are its meanings so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one